All right, Buck. What's the story, lad? Fucking get this thing straight now. Jesus Christ. What jersey is he sporting there? Too long. Too long. Très bien. What's that mean? Very good. Ah, oh, deadly. Thanks for that. Oh yeah, I have to say, I have to compliment myself now. Like I know I keep saying it, but two weeks since the haircut, it looks like bad. it looks like it's I just got out of a fucking bar. Gave it a bit of a chip, snip, snip against everyone's advice, but I just did it. Combed it all over and literally just got the scissors. Two seconds, go, go, and it literally looks like the haircut I usually get. So if you, like I said, if you're willing to knock out in public for two weeks, give me a call and I'll do yours. Um, <laughs> so what we had today, cozy to other people. Uh, well, first of all, I think we're going to do something that we've never done before, and that's taste a popular porter called uh, Guinness or <laughs> called Bee Machine. Oh, <laughs> some, Jesus! Some words there. Uh, How many of these have you had yeah. already? <laughs> what have you? What are you doing? Are you, do you have a, a Guinness and a Beamish? I only have a Beamish. No, I've no Guinness. I sure know what Guinness tastes like. Yeah, I have a you weren't gonna Beamish. Do Felt yeah. like it was um, kind of feels bigger than the Guinness, and I thought maybe it was a full pint, but it's not. Um, I'm going with it's 500 ml. I'm going with the pint glass. Usually with my Guinness, I have the 500 ml glass, but sure we'll go with the pint glass. You're going with some little piece of shit glass. Yeah, I don't have a pint glass, uh, so I did put this in the freezer, taking your tip. Okay, we got um, a bit of spillage going on here. Calm down. Okay. Avoid it. What were you saying, Cozy? Sorry. I, t I took your tip and put it in the freezer, but there's a little bit of water <coughs> in it, so there's now a bit of ice in the inside, so I'm going to try and fish that out, just so it doesn't mess with the... What a cowboy. Too much. I actually tried... This guy texted me, and he was he sent me a full pint glass of Guinness. And I was like, how'd you get a full? He goes, I put a bit of water in it. I know that's sacrilege, but it makes it nice and creamy. Tried it myself. You could, oh, right. you could definitely taste a bit of water in it at the end, though. Right. Yeah. That's Opening this. What are we going two par or like like am I supposed to just treat this like a Guinness? Like, I don't know if I preface this, but I've never tried a Beamish in my life. Point pint. Uh, I've, I've only tried it in a pub. Um, I'm just going. I think I'm going two par. Yeah, it says uh, this can contains a floating widget which may rattle. Do not shake before opening. So I must have the same. Uh, Oh, there technology. she is! Go on. You don't hear it as much as the Guinness can when it's full, but when you when it's empty, you do hear it. Yeah, it's looking similar enough to the LG, I must say. Um, it does, yeah. But what, like you'd have you'd have Beamish, Smithix, and Murphys. Would they? Was Smithix a stout, or is it slightly different? No, Smithix is a red ale. Red ale. So right. yeah, Beamish is a stout, um, more popular in Cork, right? That's a, it's a very much a Cork drink, I think. Couldn't tell you. Uh, I've never really uh, ventured away from the Guinness. Fine head and that yeah. cozy. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Uh, it looks pretty good actually. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and taste. Go ahead, slant a lad. To bad. me, that, that that's quite good. That's I, not I bad. really like it. Yeah, it's um, it's actually very good. <laughs> yeah, uh, I suppose when you're just oh, expecting it to taste like shit, like because I've never had it before, and you just think, I was expecting it to be maybe a bit more bitter, because or a bit kind of stronger, because a lot of people say Beamish has that kind of stronger taste, and yeah. this is maybe slightly easier to drink. Same. Um, yeah, I was like, yeah. I, to it's be honest, quite it's. Nice. I know, like, I'm not one for being an expert with telling the difference with cans, but like, it's not a million. It's not a million miles away from Guinness. No, it's not. It's quite close. Actually. I've been yeah, drinking. It's Go on. It's hard to know um, without having a Guinness here beside me that I could com compare. It's hard to know. It's hard to be able to describe it, but I would maybe think there's. I don't know. Maybe a little. It's a little bit stronger. A little more depth of flavor or something. Um, then a Guinness, <coughs> yeah. Um, but it's hard. It's hard when you don't have them side by side. I think to exactly tell the well, difference. See, like, I know you've been busier than me the last few days. I've just been drinking. Not to sound like an alcohol, I've been drinking like a few cans a day for the last probably good while. So I definitely have the Guinness fresh in my mind. I haven't been drinking anything else. Yeah. So 
I do have to say, it's not a million miles away from Guinness. Um, what would you say would be the difference, do you reckon? The difference, this is actually, I could be way off, but this to me is like slightly kind of fruitier. I don't know, it probably sounds crazy, but the Guinness, I get that more, more of a bitter taste. Okay. And I slightly, like I don't, I don't, I don't it's hard to know again because it's not side by side, but yeah, like it's, it's very similar to be honest. In in terms of cans, yeah, anyway. I think it's, I think it's actually really nice. I think I would, I think I'm gonna buy more, Beamish. I d I'll have to be honest with you because I have been a little bit busy. I haven't been drinking cans of Guinness at home. Um, Loser. I, I do have a few, <laughs> but they're, this is a Beamish test, so I will have some more, but yeah, I'm thinking should have got a few more Beamish as well. Yeah, fucking hell. Yeah, it's gas because I'd never tried it and just never, you kind of knew what you were going into. You, you've obviously tried it, I presume. I tried it, I, I had it in <clears> cork <throat> and it's, it's very nice. Yeah. Very nice. I still would have said Guinness would be my preference of the two. Yeah. Um, but I remember having it. I remember when I, I it must geez, it must have been ten years ago since I had a proper pint of it. And I just remember thinking it was really thick, nice, but like really yeah. thick. No Guinness is thick enough for it is. Would it be a two part pour as well? Yeah, two part pour. Yeah. And then yeah. is and then the, yeah, the only other stout is Murphy's a stout. Murphy's is a stout. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we'll try that in the next video maybe. Um, but I'm pleasantly surprised at this. I think it's Same. it's very nice. Yeah, like I said, when you just you put your expectations super low, and then it's yeah. grand. Yeah, like to be honest with you, if you told me like the shop, I'd go to the Guinness. I'd go to the Guinness to get shop. I'd go to the shop to get Guinness. <laughs> And if you tell me they've no Guinness, there's only an eight pack of Beamish, I'd probably buy it. Yeah. To be honest with definitely. you, it's um, yeah, yeah, very pleasantly surprised. Good stuff. And and look at the the head is staying true to it. Yeah. Now I find yeah, that happens out. with the Guinness as well. If you, I find like you have to drink a can of Guinness or probably can of anything within about ten minutes. I know that's probably yeah, a bit quick. I agree. But it just yeah. it just goes rotten brown and yellow and now you need to just get it into you. But I have to say this head is staying and it's not going that rotten brown colour it usually does pretty quick. Yeah. Do you reckon I'm gonna get serious abuse for um drinking out of <clears> a <throat> nice small glass like this? I don't know, you're a fucking hack of it. <laughs> it was either that or a Bulmer's pint glass, and I think I get more abuse if I was drinking them. I only have you a probably Bulmer's pint glass. Slip under the radar part with the little girly glass. Yeah, but I, the, shouldn't, I shouldn't have highlighted it at all. But with the big Bulmer, yeah, you could have you could have made a case. You could have let, like, you should have said nothing, and then if I said it, you should have just said, yeah. "Well, we're just doing a taste test. I'm not an animal. I'm just gonna pour a bit and try it." <laughs> like those gimps who do those craft beer reviews that. I tried to do it, but I couldn't do it because I didn't, didn't like didn't like them. And then that could have been your case, but the way you've just come straight in and been like, "Oh, stay me glass," yeah, line yourself up. I tell you what, that's a pleasant surprise. That's and a bit, a tiny bit of shtick. Would you? Are you going to give that a score? Score or very what hard to give it a score. Um, let's say I'm really. Again, and again, this is just me being too honest for my own good. I'm really struggling to see it being any lower than a can of Guinness. Mm. And yeah. plus, I didn't even freeze that glass. Um, I just poured it normally, poured it one one shot job. <sighs> oh, like on first first impressions, cozy. Could be better than Guinness. Out of the can. Out of the can. Now that's nothing to do with pints of Guinness. Interesting. That is a huge call. The it's Beamish a, guru. It's <laughs> the Beamish fucking ball bag. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just like it took me so long to f 
find figure out a way to pour the Guinness can so I could enjoy it and I really genuinely enjoyed that just can in the fridge and go that close normal glass so yeah I can only speak from kind of like personal experience like but I know yeah I'll get people are gonna say I'm clueless but lads go out and buy a fucking can of Beamish grand stuff now again it probably is just because I was expecting it to be shit and then you're like oh that's all right but I I enjoyed it I did cozy so if a Guinness yeah. can I don't even know like a Guinness can on a can scale is a fucking seven like I might even go seven one for the Beamish it's I thought it was very similar to be honest and I just thought it went down that slightly bit better so yeah Fuck it, Beamish Guru, let's go. Yeah, the one thing that I sometimes get, you now <laughs> I have to reserve my judgment because I don't, I haven't been drinking cans the last while. Yeah. I haven't drank a can in a while, actually since we did the blind taste test. But I find sometimes with Guinness, you get that tinny sort of metal yeah. taste yeah. on the Guinness. Mm. I didn't get that with the Exactly. With the now, um, I, I do nice, find, nice taste. like pints, you can go to one place, get a good pint, and another place down the road and get a shit one. I have found that with cans, and lots of people have said that, that a can from a certain eight pack will taste lovely, right. and then the next day it tastes all tinny and one of the, uh, and ke like chemicals and stuff like that. So I bought two cans of Beamish, maybe the other one's not gonna be as nice, but I reckon I probably got a good can. But yeah, um, maybe just cause it's Friday and I'm in the mood for a few pints, I'm being generous. <laughs> but I have to say, like I could, what I probably should do, Cozy, is sit here and go, Beamish, rah, rotten, fucking Guinness way better, Beamish is shite, and everyone will go, yeah, good man, Guru, you're fucking dead right, fuck the Beamish, but I can't lie, Cozy, I've, I've no. never been good at lying, you, you'd, you'd be able to see it in me, and that kind of Beamish right there was fucking delightful. Yeah, the Corkonians are lovely, lad, they big fans of the Beamish uh, down there, so... Yeah, and I'm even wearing uh, the, the red for Cork. <laughs> <laughs> and next we're going to do with Troy Murphy Zoo in the next video. Yeah, we might as well see, what that's see like. if the people have any interest. Oh so, yeah, stuff, another man. another productive video. I think I'm losing my mind, but sure, we keep her lit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but to, to everyone out there, try the Beamish, lads. Yeah, like we're Very good. again, we don't, <laughs> we do, we've no, obviously we've loyalty to Guinness, but like. We're not, we're not obviously paid by Guinness or anything like that, so we're not going to go and yeah. say don't drink the competitor's drink. So we're going to, if the stout was good, we're going to tell you. Um, so yeah, right, cozy, that'll do, that's plenty. And All we'll right. see you in the next, see the next one, one, right? Good luck. Good luck.